So what I have done is I have gone into my scrap basket that has all different uh, pieces of cardstock. I have a really hard time throwing away cardstock because I know I can use up these bits and pieces. So I've got just um, a random batch of cardstock here. I'm also using our four petal flower punch. I am using our birch background stamp. I have some whisper white cardstock and I've cut these down at the four and a quarter mark so they're four and a quarter by eleven so that when I fold them these will make our four and a quarter by five and a half card bases so all my card bases are going to be whisper white so I'm gonna go ahead and fold these I don't know how many cards I'm going to be making um, on the video. Probably going to be speeding the video up a little bit so you can see the process for each one. But I always need cards. I always love sending cards in the mail. Okay, so there's my card bases. I've also gone ahead and cut some Granny Apple Green cardstock, and then um, I'm going to be trimming them probably by three and a three and a half so but these are going to be the bits that I'm going to glue my strips on I'm going to use the colorful seasons and I'm going to use the thinking of you stamp so I've got some gosh I almost called this yo-yo yellow do you guys remember yo-yo yellow that was way back when I first joined Stampin' Up uh, I joined in 2002 but um, no this is our pineapple punch so I'm going to cut this down to three and a quarter and then I'm going to slide this over to the three quarter inch mark All my strips are going to be three quarters of an inch in width by three and one quarters across so there's my pineapple punch you know what I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut a bunch of random pieces of cardstock so I've got all my strips cut so I've got quite a variety of colors and now what I want to do is stamp the backgrounds on all of my uh, Whisper White using the birch. So I already have this stamp mounted. So I'm going to take my early espresso and ink it up. And then I have a piece of scrap computer paper. And when I'm using big stamps like this, I like to place my cardstock on top of the stamp put my computer paper on top and give it a little rub and then when I lift it off it's perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the remaining card bases okay all my card bases are stamped what do we have here we have five cards so I guess we are making five cards so set those aside so for the first card I have chosen Real Red, Crumb Cake, Grapefruit Grove, and So Saffron. So the first thing I'm going to do is give them all a little rub with my embossing buddy because I'm going to emboss all of them in white. So just tapping them with my embossing buddy. If you're not familiar with embossing buddies, they have a powder in them that prevents static on your cardstock so that you don't get um, embossing powder where you don't want it. So I'm going to line up this edge with this notch right here. Put my magnet down and center my stamp. And pick it up. And I'm going to ink it with my first mark, and I'm going to do that to all four pieces and then sprinkle on my embossing powder. Okay, now that I have my embossing powder on each one of these, I'm going to um, set these with my heat tool those are all embossed I'm going to go ahead and put them on my granny green apple and decide what order I'm gonna put them in I think I'll just go ahead with that actually so 
So I'm just lining up this edge to the left and then I will trim these up after they're all stuck together. This one needs a little bit more snail under there. There we go. So I'm going to cut this out uh, about three and a quarter. I'm actually going to trim that off a little bit. And just to clean up the edge, I'm going to trim that as well. And also on this side. What I'm going to do next is pick up a glue dot, stick it right about there, and I'm going to wrap on some of our linen thread. And that glue dot will help kind of be that extra finger to hold that down. And look, that's a little bit crooked down there, but that's okay. Do you know why? I'm going to put the flower on top of that, so you won't even know. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap this around a few times. It's probably good. And push that into that glue dot. And then I'm just going to tie a little bow. Okay, so now I'm just going to put this onto my card base using some Stampin' Dimensionals. A little bit on that linen thread. Oops. And one in the middle. Now I'm going to take some real red, and that is going to be my flower. See, I have some more scrap pieces here, so I'm going to. I'm actually going to punch out two in case I need another one. And I'm going to mist these with water on both sides and scrunch them up or scrunch okay so I'm just scrunching those up and I'm going to open it up and when that dries it'll dry nice and hard okay and I'm going to use the same punch for the leaves so I'm going to punch up those as well. Actually, punch out a few of those. Same thing. Mist and scrunch, and I'll come back to the scrunched ones in a second. And I'm going to open these up and take my scissors. I'm going to cut these in half. And then I'm literally going to fold these up in half and then that creates my leaf. Okay, I've gone ahead and punched out a circle. You, This is my retired, uh, it's a three quarter inch circle punch, but you can use any size, you can use um, your dies. And this is going to get scrunched up really, really tight and I'm not going to unscrunch this one. This is going to be the center of that flower. It doesn't look like much. <laughs> it looks like garbage, but when you put it in the middle of the flower, it looks pretty. So when you're ready to use your flowers like I am, if they're not quite dry, zap them with the heat tool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Start by putting a dimensional behind my flower and stick it right here. And I'm going to use my liquid glue to put the leaves on and I'm going to tuck that right under here. So see how that kind of hides where that paper went a little bit crooked. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the middle and that's where I'm going to pop this little guy. I just gave each card a light spritz of the Champagne Shimmer Mist. Hopefully the camera picks it up very very pretty so i'm going to go ahead and make some more cards using the exact same layout but using different colors of cardstock and different sentiments
I'm just sticking these all on and then I will cut them out and trim them up. And what I've done is um, I have positioned the colors the way I like them so that way I know what order to put them on when I'm adhering them and I've gone ahead and punched my flowers and all the little bits and pieces so that everything coordinates. So I've got to celebrate the season Christmas thanks to you and this one's baby love because we um, have friends that recently had a baby so I want to make this card for them. So you can see by changing up the colors and the sentiments but using the identical card layout um, you just come up with so many great uh, cards for all different occasions and using the stamp sets that you already have. Okay, so there's three on there, the three cards. So I'm just going to uh, trim these up. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, just make sure everything's all nice and straight. So there's my three different pieces. Okay, now I have one more that needs to be adhered to the paper. Now this I did not heat emboss. This I just stamped with um, early espresso and I can tell I didn't measure those quite right. That's A-OK. -okay. And this sentiment is from the new Playful Penguins and it reads, you are so cool. trimmed that one up too so now it's time to put these on the cards So now what I'm doing is I am making some bows instead of wrapping the twine around like I did on the first card. How I'm making these, I am taking the thread and wrapping it around my two fingers twice and then bringing in my third finger and wrapping it around twice and then I'm holding the two ends with my thumb and slip out my fingers, trim off the edge and then cut another piece and then you can see I've got two different sizes of circles so I'm just going to pinch down in the center of those and twist and then I'm just going to wrap this piece around and tie it in a knot. And I'm kind of holding the two bows with, with my fingers. It just takes practice. I've made these a lot, so um, it's kind of become second nature. This works better with our thread and baker's twine than it does our other ribbons, too. So just trim off this, the uh, ends a little bit, and then you can just pull those loops out. And it's really kind of rustic and pretty. Okay, so there's two done, so I'm going to go ahead and make a couple more. Okay, so I've got all my ribbons, and now I'm going to go ahead and put them onto my cards. So I'm just going to use a glue dot to do that. I'll start with the Christmas one first. I'm going to put it right in the middle. And tuck it underneath that flower. Okay. 
Okay, I am going to show you how I make my champagne mist shimmer spray that I use on almost everything I create these days. So this is 70% rubbing alcohol that I get from the dollar store and our champagne shimmer mist paint. Now you want to use 70% rubbing alcohol or the paint will um, they'll go, it'll go all kind of funny. So make sure you're using 75%. Shake this up and then just pour in a little bit kind of I don't know if you're seeing it but I betcha I've probably poured in maybe maybe a quarter of a teaspoon and this is um, just over three ounces so I'm just giving it a really good shake and then I have um, some Mary Merlot cardstock you want some dark cardstock to test this on to see how much shimmer so I've just misted it and there's not near enough shimmer in there for my tastes and you should kind of be able to see it in the rubbing alcohol as well so I probably have the equivalent of half a teaspoon of this paint in my rubbing alcohol shake it shake it shake it and you just want to keep adding the paint to the rubbing alcohol until you get the desired effect. Now there is a lot more shimmer coming out. The rubbing alcohol dries really, really fast. And you don't have to use the champagne. You can use the white. You can use the other colors that we offer. My personal preference is the champagne shimmer mist for this um, spritzing that I do on everything. So again, shaking it and misting it. And now that is absolutely perfect. Um, as that's drying, I'm seeing more and more shimmer. And I, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it is, it is stunning. Okay, so I'm just misting my cards, adding that little extra prettiness of shimmer. All right, let's take a look at the finished cards. So this one has that linen thread that I wrapped around from the top to bottom using the thinking of you sentiment. Then we have our congratulations. You are so cool. And remember this one, I just stamped it with early espresso. I didn't uh, heat emboss that one. This one says, thanks to you. Hard to see on the camera, but uh, you can see that the white on that nice light blue. And then the baby love. And Christmas with Celebrate the Season. I hope I've inspired you today to give this card layout a try. As you can see, so many different possibilities. Great way to use up those scrap bits of um, cardstock and just a fun way to add embellishments uh, using up that scrunched bit of paper in the center. Really had a lot of fun making these. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. And thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate you and happy stamping.